Hello everyone, Colin Adoy here, and today I'm back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. In today's video, before I start, uh, f since this update came out, uh, you know the trophies adamant leak thing that I've been talking about, you can get the tournaments. Well, basically for the past couple of days, I've been trying to get on the leaderboard. I have been on the leaderboard several times, but usually, when you don't play for a while, you don't get on there. And I'm literally 7 points away, so... You know, I've been up to up to top 50 one time, and I'm kidding. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the... Where is it going to at? The Elf's Revenge. So, the Elf's Revenge has a 21 efficiency, 77 fire rate, an 8 capacity, and a 130 mobility. Now, this weapon is a one-shot most of the time to the head, but at a full armor player with no damage dealt to them, it is a two-shot headshot. Just barely though, but usually it is a one shot headshot because someone is always going to be a little bit damaged when you actually first go against them. And yeah, it's actually a really good sniper rifle, guys. And this weapon does have the highest mobility ever in Pixel Gun 3D of mobility 130. Um, I don't think a single weapon in the sniper section has a mobility 130. None of them do. Only the Sunrise raises second to 120. So yeah, that's a unique thing about the Elf's Revenge, it has a 130 mobility, and yeah, I really do enjoy this weapon, I've been using it off camera only like a few hours or so, and it's actually a pretty good sniper rifle, it's not my favorite one, I still prefer the anti-hero rifle over this one, just because I'm better with the anti-hero rifle than the Elf's Revenge, but the Elf's Revenge is still a really cool weapon to use. Alright, we're going to try to go into a longer range map, just because all snipers are foreign, the best in there. We're going to go into Night Christmas Town. I didn't even go on this map in the, the Christmas update review, which is weird. I don't know why I forgot about it. I forgot to equip it. God. Nice. In a weapon review, I forgot to equip a weapon. So, so this weapon actually does have 130 mobility. I didn't really test it out before, but it actually moves quite fast with it. Definitely, for a sniper rifle, definitely. So... Yeah, so the Elf's Revenge is actually a pretty decent sniper rifle. If you do know how to use it, if you go with sniper rifles, then you'll get a pretty decent gameplay with this one. Not everyone is good with sniper rifles, so I would not recommend anyone with a really bad accuracy. But if you do have a good accuracy in this game, I would recommend buying this weapon. This weapon, um, I believe it costs, uh, I believe like 180 gems or something like that. Somewhere around there. So, I recommend buying this weapon, even though it's kind of expensive. It's not really that expensive. It's one of the most expensive weapons in this whole update. It's to strike second behind the Axis Destroyer. That one's 185, but that's barely anything, so... And I'll show you guys the one-shot headshot, if I can aim. Okay, got a body shot. If you do use the whatever that gadget I have... I'm actually going to check right now. If you do have the leader's drum, then this weapon will be a definite one-shot headshot if you use the leader's drum. Because that does an, a damage boost, so that's a really good thing to have when using this weapon. And with any weapon, in fact, with the leader's drum. So, it is a two-shot body shot, like there. That guy did have armor on, I believe. He can hide it, he probably hit it. Or maybe he didn't have armor, I don't know if he had armor or not. No, it's still a two shot body shop, so you know, you gotta get he probably did have armor, so and you're gonna try to get a few more kills with this thing. And there we go, there's that one shot headshot. If someone does get in a damage battle, if someone did take damage from a battle that was going against one another player, then you're definitely gonna take him out. So with the one shot headshots. Even though I'm really bad with this weapon, it's still a really good weapon. I don't think I'm gonna one shot headshot this guy. Well, I body shot at him anyway, so might as well kill him with that, just because I can't aim, unfortunately. I am really bad when, with snipers with these crosshairs for some reason. Because I'm usually, I used to be good with them, but I'm not really good at, with them at all. So don't expect a very good sniper gameplay in this video, just because I'm not really good with and most of the sniper outs in this game. When it comes to, like, really good gameplay, so... If you do watch videos with my, with my anti-hero rifle, then yeah, I get a lot of very good gameplay with that one. But, don't expect good gameplay if I ever try to use, like, the Elephant Hunter, the Sunrise, or the Brutal Eye Hunter, even though I don't use that weapon. Don't expect very good gameplay, or the 
Ellis Revenge, the weapon I'm using right now. Ducks weapon me to get good gameplay with those, so, because I suck at using sniper rifles besides this one. So, yeah, guys, uh, Ducks Revenge, this weapon is a really good weapon, definitely. It's one of the best ones in this update. Uh, I believe it's, like, the most powerful one. I believe it is. It is a two one shot headshot, two shot headshot. One shot headshot because I got a diamond armor. Definitely a one shot headshot. Yeah, this weapon is definitely good with all the pros in the game. It's a really good weapon, definitely. I really do enjoy it. I really do like it. I can try to get this ghost lantern guy. Or did you see Kevin Gifter on him? I only bought three weapons in the new update because I don't because I tried to spend twenty dollars on all of them, but I didn't have enough for them because I thought I was I looked up a video and and most of the weapons were fifty percent off, so I guess the Black Friday sale was still going on. Like I like during a fifty percent sale, I added up all the weapons and it was like seven hundred gems, and I had hundred gems lying around. And 600 for the 20 dollars, so I thought I can get all of them, but unfortunately it's a 30% sale again, so I can only get three of them. But you know, I will get all of them on Christmas if I do get an iTunes card, so stay tuned for the other weapon reviews and stuff. I only got three of the weapons, so and they're all the most expensive, so alright, we're in the leaderboard now, definitely. We're in the tournament leaderboard, definitely. We're definitely in it now. So yeah, we're gonna try to get a few more kills with the Ultra Revenge. This weapon is a really good weapon, and I recommend it to any player with a decent accuracy. See, there you go. It's does it's not a one shot all the time. There you go. I did do two two headshots with the assault machine gun, so it does take very few headshots to take someone out. With if you hit someone with this weapon on the head, then this weapon and a different weapon actually takes them out in a very very few shots, definitely. If you use any area damage weapon, it's going to take them out in one shot. So, I would recommend that. It's definitely having a decent weapon or assault rifle. It takes very few shots with an assault rifle. Probably one shot with any pistol. Besides the pixel gun. So, so I recommend buying uh, using a, uh, another weapon. Like the assault machine gun. Or an area damage weapon. Any area damage weapon, in fact. Or something else that's going to do a decent amount of am damage. So, you can actually finish them off. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy with the prototype. I don't think you're gonna beat someone with the prototype if you're actually in a head-to-head -head battle, but if you have a really good aim, then you, can sh you should be able to kill someone with the prototype, because that is the best sniper in the game, so, you know, I think you're getting better gameplay with this now. We're in first place right now. That's not too bad. Nice. See, there you go. One, two, three, four. Okay, this guy is not actually in the game right now. That's weird. I don't know why that, what the heck that guy's doing. I don't know. He's probably just got disconnected or something. I don't know what happened to him. Gonna get you. There you go. Got Exotic Hacker 101. Exotic Hacker 101. That's what his name is. So, here's the damage drum, actually. That's why I've been actually... To get the damage drum is actually a really good gadget. It's really good. Even though I don't see anybody. You should get like a Dairy T two shot body shot. Almost a one shot body shot with this weapon. If you use the the drum. Then it's, it's, if you use the drum it's a definite one shot headshot. Like I said at the beginning of the video. But you know, I would definitely recommend buying that. Because it affects any weapon in this game. So I'm gonna try to get a few more kills. There we go. It does sound kind of cool when you actually shoot the weapon. And after hero rifle, I feel like it sounds a little bit cooler, but... Uh, that guy didn't get damaged. If someone did not get damaged, like, at the littlest bit, then... It's gonna be a two-shot headshot, unfortunately. Which is... Kind of fair, because I don't want, like, several sniper rifles to be a one-shot headshot. Like, I'll name them all off right now. The prototype, the anti-hero rifle, the laser bow... And I believe that's all of them. I believe, anyway. Actually, let me look right now. I don't, I don't think there's any. Oh, yeah, the charge rifle is one of them, too. And that's pretty much all of them. There's only, like, four sniper rifles that are one-shot headshot. And this one is technically isn't a one-shot headshot. It's a two-shot headshot at full armor. So, yeah, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more Pixel Gun 3D videos. In tomorrow's video, 
you know, the new game, Super Mario Run, that is a new game that's coming out tomorrow. I hope it comes out. So, when that game does come out, I will be doing a video on that, because I do like Mario games a quite a lot. In today's dates, I still play a bit of Mario. I didn't play Mario as much. Don't play really play as much as I do now. But I will be playing that, just because I thought, I think you guys would enjoy that. Plus, you'll get a lot more views just from random people. Okay, so... So, yeah, that's gonna be tomorrow's video. And then probably another Pixel Gun 3D video tomorrow or Friday. Because I'm gonna have that. And, yeah. I'm actually gonna check where I am at the leaderboard now, just because... If I... If you guys see... I think I am in the leaderboard now, unless it refreshed or something, I don't know. I don't think I am in the leaderboard anyway, uh... I have 18, 19, so... This is actually the highest amount of trophies I had so far. Yeah, I'm in the leaderboard now, where am I, like 90 or something. Yep, there you go, I'm in 96th place, that's literally nothing. If you guys do not know, if you are in the leaderboard... At the end of the week, then you will get 50 gems. That's really much why I want to get in the leaderboard. So, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.